What's going on, y'all? We are out here today. Got a lot of wind and rain in the area, but we're determined to get on some fish. I got a crew from North Alabama, John and Hunter. They've been on a few charters with me, and they have never done a sheep's head trip. So, that's the goal today. We got some live shrimp, can't really see them, but they are in that bucket. We are about to get out here, launch the kayaks, and get on some fish. Y'all stay tuned, let's get it done. All right, we are pulling up on our bridge now. About to rig up some lines, drop down. See if we can't catch some fish. We got a shrimp right here. These are perfect size shrimp. Picked them up from Mary Walker Marina this morning. And we're gonna be putting that octopus hook right through the horn right there. I'm sorry about the wind noise, y'all. In a minute, I'll get behind this wall and there won't be any wind noise. But that's the setup right there. I'm gonna talk more about the size line and everything I got going on later on. Let's just see if we can drop down, pick something up real quick. Sitting in eight foot of water, first drop. Oh, we're on, we're on. He swam up with it. Oh, good one. I got bit, I felt the bite, and then nothing was there, I picked up. He was all the way at the surface with my shrimp. All right, Let's see if we can give old boat flip for this sheep's head. Boom, there we go. Well, y'all, that's our first sheep's head on the shrimp right there. Man, they're biting a little weird today. Now, John and Hunter have already put one sheep's head a piece in the box. They are, like I said, from North Alabama. They don't come down here often. So we're gonna try to send them home with some fish so they can put in the freezer. If y'all have never ate sheep's head, they are the best tasting bridge fish in my opinion and this is about the perfect size right there about a 16 17 incher now when i'm rigging my shrimp i like to put my hook right there in front of the horn and that allows him to swim natural another place you can put this hook is right there they have a horn on the back of the tail same thing you can go through there uh, but never never put your hook through the middle of that shrimp you want it in that horn right there so that shrimp can just naturally flick just like that drop back down there see if there's another one sitting on this same piling y'all hunter's on another one over there he's on a good one it's all we're using all of us are out here just throwing shrimp everybody's out of crabs right now we found one bait shop open this morning that had some shrimp. They kind of saved the day, and Hunter is just hooked up on a giant. Yeah, get him out of the bridge. Oh, you gotta get him. There he is. Oh, yeah. Beautiful fish, man. Look Ooh. at these fish. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Don't get hung up in the net. Hot sword. Oh, he wasn't done. Yeah, that's a 20 incher, man. Y'all look at this sheep's head right there, Hunter just caught. Awesome fish, man. He's on it. There he is. There he is. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Come here. Gotta get him up. Gotta get him up. Come on. Oh, he's just digging on me. There we go. There he is. Yeah. All right. Well, that is our second sheep's head. Look at that hook just fell out right there when I flipped him in the kayak. Whoo! We started off around eight foot. And John and Hunter over there, look at that sheep said, beautiful sheep said. We're catching a couple of them, but I moved over here to some shallower water, missed a couple, and then landed this beautiful sheep's head right here. Now we are allowed to keep 15 per person, I believe, 10 or 15, I can't remember. And they gotta be 14 inches in length. 
So we're not going to be breaking out the measuring board today because all of these guys are clearly over 14. We don't intend on keeping any limits or anything like that. Uh, like I said before, John and Hunter do want to take some home. They don't get to do this very often. And uh, if y'all watch the channel, y'all know I don't keep a whole lot of fish. All right, y'all, so check it out. These are probably one of my favorite fish to eat inshore. Um, coming in second would probably be flounder, but I'm real curious to know, what are y'all's favorite fish to eat? Whether it be freshwater, saltwater, whatever. What do y'all find to be the tastiest fish out there? See if we can pick another one up off of this piling. Oh, he's on. He's on it. Oh, missed him. Oh, he's on, ain't he? He was on. There he is, John. <laughs> Y'all, they're lighting it up, man. Oh, John and Hunter are on them. All right, cool, man. Well, we are on some fish, y'all. Check it out. If y'all want to book a charter with us, I'm going to leave the information down below in the description. But I run charters for pretty much anything inshore. Flounder, redfish, speckled trout, sheep's head, whatever y'all want to catch. If y'all want to book a trip with me, just, uh, yeah, look at the information below. Let's get a trip in. There you go. Hunter is hooked up again over there, y'all. Oh, doubled up. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. John just hooked one. Hunter's got one on. They're doubled up. Hunter's getting dogged on right now. <laughs> oh, man. It's heating up, y'all. Good stuff. Yeah, that's my shrimp. Yep, my shrimp was running from the sheep's head who has now got it in his mouth. Come on, come on, come on. There he is. There he is. Get out of there. Get out. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right. Sheep's head number three. There we go. This one's a tad bit smaller than the last one, but still a good sheep's head. And as many times as I do this, it's just something that doesn't get old. Y'all check out the teeth on them jokers right there. Those teeth are made to crush up shells and barnacles and just all kinds of nasty stuff that gets around those pilings. So I absolutely know that if I get my finger caught up in there, it's going to be a clean nub. That joker will probably take it in one swift bite. Another shrimp going out. Oh, he nailed it. He's on it. He's He let it go. He's back on it again. He's running with it, running with it. I'm going to let him eat. And I didn't get him long enough. Dang it. Let's try that again. I got one on. As soon as I tossed it in there, he's on it. He's on He's on. There we go. Oh! Did he break me? He broke me, dude. Dang it. Must just had a fray in the line. He didn't feel like that big of a fish. Definitely broke me. So the setup that I like to use for sheep's head is just a pin battle. It's a pin battle two. They have some newer models out since I've had this. I've had it forever. But I like using it for sheep's head because it is a tank of a setup and it's only about $130, $120 combo. So if I'm beating it up around the pylons and stuff, it's not gonna, not gonna hurt my feelings. Something done got my shrimp. 
anyways we're running a 20 pound test here to a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader we have a number four split shot weight to a number one octopus hook right there and that's pretty much the deal rain is starting to come in good on us now the rain wind and cold has not let up at all today it has been quite tough out here we've had several bites on the bridge uh john and hunter have put several fish in the box they're probably looking at about 13 or 14 sheep's head that they're taking to the house right now but yeah it has been tough cold windy and it has not let up on us check it out y'all if y'all like this type of content dropping live bait around these bridge pylons i have some blue crabs sitting in my freezer right now ready to go out and drop on this bridge if y'all get this video to 600 likes we will come out here drop some blue crabs and see if we can pick up some bigger fish with those all right y'all we are back at the ramp now just wrapped up our trip what you think about it john fantastic cold <laughs> cold yeah cold windy check it out look look that's all i got right there them three sheep said they definitely outfished me today look at that beautiful big sheep's head got hunter's sheep's head over here so despite the wind the rain the cold we had an amazing time out here always have a good time with john and hunter they've chartered with me several times they actually got another one booked in april so i'm looking forward to doing that uh but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed the video if y'all did hit the like button comment with any questions subscribe if you haven't already we'll see you next time